Now let us talk about some of the modifiers. For example, pushback is one of the modifiers. Pop back and clear. These are the mostly used modifiers with vectors, right? So as the name suggests, pushback will insert an element at the end of the vector. Pop back will remove the last element from the vector and clear will clear all the content from the vector. It will just uh, make the size of vector again zero, right? For example, let's say we have this vector. Now let's say we want to insert 5 at the end of this vector. So we can do that using pushback operator like this. Right? So now the vector will look something like this 3, 2, 4 and 5. Right? Similarly, let's say now we want to remove this last element. So for that we can use pop back and now the vector will look something like this 3, 2 and 4 because we have used pop back so it will remove the last element right so in push back we need to pass the value that we want to insert at the end and in pop back the, there will not be any arguments because pop back will simply remove the last element pro, present in the vector now let's say we want to erase all this data from this vector so in that case we can use clear so v dot clear will remove all this data and the vector will be empty now right now if we just talk about the time complexity of these uh, modifiers then we can say for pushback in worst case it will be linear or we can say order of n where n is the size of the vector but amortized time complexity or average complexity will be big O of 1 right which means constant okay now for popback the complexity will be big O of 1 which will be constant right and for clear the complexity will be big O of n where n is the size of the vector all right now let us talk about few of the functions which are commonly used with vectors for example size resize and reverse okay so let's say we want to know that how many elements our vector currently contains so for that we can use size function so we can use it like v dot size so it will return an integer value which will represent the number of elements which are currently present in our vector. So currently we have 3. So this v dot size will return 3. Alright. Now let's say we want to change the size of this vector. Right now we have 3 elements. Right. Let's say we want uh, this vector to have a size of 5. So what we can do in that case is that we can use v dot resize and we can pass the argument which will, re, uh, which will change the size to that particular value. For example, let's say we want the size of uh, this vector to be 5. So we can pass 5 to this. Now this uh, vector will have a size of 5 after this resize. Okay. So now uh, using this resize, the size of the vector will be 5. So first position will hold 3, then 2, then 1. And that, then we will have two more new places. Now let's say we want to initialize these two new places with uh, some particular value. So for that what we can do is we can pass one more argument let's say 1. So now what will happen is that uh, these two uh, indices will be included in this vector and they will hold a value which will be equal to this one, right? So we can use resize to change the size and initialize the new indices with some particular value, alright? Now let's talk about reverse. So in reverse, we have to pass two arguments. First one will be the starting uh, pointer to the first uh, starting element and pointer to the last element which we want to reverse. Let's say we want to reverse the entire vector. In that case, we will do v dot begin and v dot end. Right. So this will uh, reverse the entire vector. So our vector would look something like this. If we are reversing this vector, then it would look something like this. One, two, three. Right. Okay. Now let's say we just want to reverse the first two elements. For that, what we can do is we can pass the in that case, we can uh, pass a pointer pointing to the first element and a pointer pointing to the second element. So we can write reverse v dot begin and v dot begin will be pointing to the first element and the pointer which will be pointing to the second element will be v dot begin plus one. So this will be pointing to the second element of the vector. Okay. So now this will reverse the first two elements. So the vector would look something like this. Uh, 2, 3 and 1.